Hi, Jana Gonzalez here. I've been getting some questions about how to use the diffusers. So I thought that I should just make a quick video and show you guys about the diffusers. These are the what we've been making. This is one that is pretty freshly just got made. And then this here has been drying a little bit longer than this one. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the color. So this is what the clay looks like after it's been fired one time. Poor Ings little piece of pizza. So teeny tiny, little bitty bite. But anyway, what we're doing with these diffusers is putting essential oils on the back. We use Young Living oils. So I have a bottle of Joy. I have a diffuser. Okay, so this side is finished. This side is plain. On the plain side, you just want to take your oil. Not feeling the joy. All right, there goes a couple of drops. All right, and then you just kind of let it sit there for a minute while it soaks up. Just let it soak up. I'll show you guys some of these diffusers that just came out lately. Look at that beautiful one. Oh. All right, so we got to cut the string. I showed you one whole diffuser. We just measure the head and then give it some extra, a little bit of slack. And I've just been using this male cutter. Take the string. I gotta get some of the curls out of it because this one's at the end of the string, it's at the end of the roll. And then you tie it up. All you do is loop it around, pull, pull this back out of the way, tie a little knot. See? Pull it tight, spin it around, tie it. Pull it tight. Okay, so now it's adjustable. Uh, but you can't pull on the knot. You can only pull on the string. So you see, that's not the right side to pull on. So you take that same string, and over here, you can pull it. Or you can pull it the other way to make it shorter, or longer. I'm sorry. All right, so pull on the strings. Don't pull on the knots. And we just pull it down and find the center of it between the knotted side and this side. Put it through the diffuser. Okay, and make sure that it stays straight. and then you give it a pull and that's it so after it soaks up the oil which my diffuser is really saturated in oils if you put it on a brand new one do you have a new one can i put some oil on it okay so courtney wants me to give this one to her she said if I put oil on it, it will make it officially hers because we don't put oil on them and then sell them. We just put oil on them and then use them. All right, so there's the oil on there. Okay, and you can see it's soaking in pretty fast because this is a brand new one that doesn't have any oil in it already. Okay, so it's already absorbed. And so now when you wear this, you have to keep it on your skin. All right. Don't wear it like here because it will stain your cool Carly. So you want to wear it on your skin or you can wear it down low, but always wear it under your clothes once you got oil on it. 
And then once in a while, you can just take it out and smell it. Oh, it smells so good. So anyway, I'm putting a little joy oil on hers. We use Young Living Oils. Christy Ligurski is a distributor of Young Living Oils. I have a membership too, but she's actually doing it as a business. I'm, I'm just doing it as a hobby. I'm actually doing it as staying well from chemotherapy is the reason why I do the oils because I feel like they really, really lessen the side effects of chemotherapy. All right, so then when I'm always wearing the joy, I feel pretty joyous no matter what the occasion, even if it's not a really a joyous occasion. All right, so this here, you put it on your little string. Oh, I want to wear it. It's so cute. So we'll just make a string for it real quick. Take it off the roll. We get this string at Hobby Lobby. So if you know that you want to be buying some diffusers, you might want to just go get yourself a spool of this stuff from Hobby Lobby and make it a little less bulky to ship it. Because I have only been throwing them in an envelope and mailing them. Probably be cool on a hemp rope. Is that the dog? Right, you got a pencil in there? Dog sounds like he's got a pencil. All right, so we're then just taking this here and I'm putting putting it through here. We just use like a straw to make these holes. There it is, Courtney's cute little diffuser. Courtney, you want to come and try this on, Courtney? Mm -hmm. Courtney does want to come and try it on for you. You got a mouthful over there. <laughs> what she got on her pizza face? Huh? If she gets the oil stain on that, it's not going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> I put it under there, but right now it's hanging in the back. Mm. Oh, you love it, Courtney. Yeah. She's so happy that I put oil on it for her. And then there's oil diffusing out of the diffuser. That one has Gentle Baby in it. Oh, Gentle Baby smells <laughs> fresh. <laughs> gentle Baby. <So> <laughs> Would there be other things than gentle babies? Are there rough babies? Are there mean babies? I don't know, but this is a gentle baby. Maybe it turns you into a gentle baby. And this is a happy gentle baby. So if you mix joy and gentle baby, oh, you'll just be like a joyous, gentle giant. That ends our diffuser discussion. Unless you guys want to see a couple of these diffusers. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. Look at this one. This came off of a beer stein. Isn't it cool? It's got the little ships with the building. This is Caden's. Caden made this one. Caden's eight years old. It's like a little cup. See that, Caden? Oh, this one's beautiful. I think that the name of this paint is Ocean Mist. It kind of looks like you're looking down into some deep water. It's absolutely gorgeous in real life. I know that this lighting really doesn't do these diffusers justice. Here, let me just do this for you. We got a lot of diffusers. So, I'll be posting those pretty soon on Facebook. And maybe I'm even going to make an actual diffuser page so I can keep track of it because what happens on Facebook is the diffusers get a little buried in the news feed. <laughs> All right. Hasta la vista.